know what I just realized, Marie? It's not about justifying your existence. It's about you being so scared and so selfish that you have to break me now. Relationships don't last. It's because most people not looking for a relationship. They looking for a therapist. Y'all want a provider, but y'all chase after the men that look like money. Many of you women are not really what you think you're cracked up to be. Like, quit coming into relationships trying to make a man secure your insecurities. That's your job. So are women looking for good men or good fools? Stick around. We're going to talk about it. Let's go. Andre, you are doing great, man. You be dropping some gems. There's a difference between being alone and being alone. You definitely are not afraid to dive into a controversial topic or two. If you want to know how your man's going to treat you, look at how you treat his mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be really good. Hey everyone, this is Andre Pearson. Welcome to my channel, Why Does Love Hurt So Good? In this video, we're going to answer a question that most women ask. Why can't men act right? Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because you won't believe how the last statement that I made got so many women questioning themselves that they know really how to attract a man and keep him. Now, there are a lot of reasons why men don't act right, but before I can tell you why they don't act right, we must first define what most women feel acting right is. A hundred women surveyed and the top five answers are on the board. A woman feels that a man is acting right when he believes everything that she says and asks no questions. When he trusts her, even though she doesn't trust him. A woman feels that a man acts right when he accepts her bad behavior as just being part of her when he just does what she says and asks no questions. A woman feels that a man is acting right when he never tells her no for anything that she asks for. Now, if any women believe that this is how a man is supposed to act in a relationship, they are delusional. They will never have a man and hold on to him too long. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that the men that are with women right now can't treat them better because they can. But I got a question for the women that's listening. Before now, do you feel as though you've made your needs known? Have you verbalized them? We can't expect our partners to be mind readers and then be mad when they are not. It's hard for most men to communicate with their women when they can't get a word in edgewise in the conversation. A lot of women in the conversations they have with their men are just having them to let the man know that she's right and that he's wrong. Now, the one thing that most women have a hard time understanding is just because he doesn't agree with you doesn't mean that he's wrong. Do you let him lead or do you sit up there and challenge him every chance you get? He may not tell you he's unhappy because most men are not going to say shit like that. They just not because you've made an environment to where they can't even talk to you. So they can't tell you they not happy. If he wasn't creating so much hell, I could be in peace. Not taking responsibility, not taking accountability. You cannot expect these men to be your hero, to come swoop down and save you when you battling with him. You his enemy. Like he got to fuss and argue with you about everything. All of this arguing, combative energy. You've been falling for the bad boys and a part of your narrative is I keep choosing the bad ones. That probably means you're not that intellectual. Now that don't mean that you're not a good person, you're not a good woman, but that definitely speaks to the caliber of man that you're gonna be able to attract. Now, before you say that men act out also, just understand how can you hear and understand if you talk so damn much? Now, this may seem like a simple task, but there is an art to listening without talking. There is an art to listening and retaining the information that that person just told you. So we as women, when we know something's wrong with our man, we want to find 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different solutions to try to make it all better. But sometimes you just need to hush and listen to him talk because sometimes he needs to vent. When he does start venting, the last thing you want to do is interrupt him while he's venting because men are, men are brought up and they're taught to um, you know hold stuff in and retain stuff so when they do finally start opening up the very last thing you want to do is break that focus because it's it, because what he's gonna do is he's gonna shut back down so if when he starts talking just hush and just listen you see most times in relationships when women are talking to men they're basing their whole relationship on who's right and who's wrong let me explain something to y'all those of y'all that think y'all the ones that got good communication Y'all not the ones with good communication because you just want to be right. You don't want to communicate. Y'all don't understand that just like relationships, communication is not about somebody being right or wrong. Expressing how you feel about something does not mean the other person got to end the conversation feeling how you felt. Y'all wasn't taught like conflict resolution, what compromise mean, what it means to like be on a team and understand the dynamic of two people having two separate opinions. Y'all just talk to be right. 
Y'all bring up stuff to people and then you get upset in the end and you can't get past this. Like you don't got no choice but to let it slide like some of y'all coming because you don't know how to let go of the idea of always being right. Unlike most men who pick their woman based on their beauty from years ago, men today want women with beauty and substance. Now I'm not saying there's no women out there without both. I'm just saying they're hard to find. How would I know you're serious about me if you're not taking care of me in some type of way? Anybody can take me to dinner. Anybody. Somebody who doesn't care about me can take me to dinner. Somebody who doesn't care about me is not gonna go pay my electric bill. That's how I know you care about me. That's how I know you're real. That's how I know you're saying what you're about. And you have, here's the thing is I wouldn't be asking that of just anybody. You have a nice car. You can clearly do that shit with ease. If, unless I'm mistaken. Am I mistaken? Can you or can you not do that shit with ease? So if you care about a woman, why would you not want to do that for her? You're not wifey. You're nothing right now. Okay. And so that's why, totally why cool. would I just go out my way to pay your bill? Like I'm not here for an emotional connection. You go, dude. Like you think I want to be in here any other person for some money? You think I want to talk to you? No, bro. I don't. I made that clear on the sidewalk. See? I have no interest in your ass. I want some money. That's. Now, for those women listening, understand something. Real men today are looking not only for beauty, but they're checking you for your mindset to see if you are an asset to their life instead of a liability. Because for some men who feel that relationships are no longer about love, and that's one of the reasons they don't last, this is why most men rather date and spend on you than invest in you. Telling a man that you're looking for someone to take care of you is not an attractive quality that he's looking for when he's looking to marry a woman. Black women as a whole, we lack the character to stand down, even when it's destroying our team. You continue to fight and yell and argue to our detriment, and your arguments are so misguided and backwards and downright stupid that Black men are openly discussing other races of women to build with. At this point, Black men are just tolerating us. They love us, they want to produce black families, but let's be honest, we've been overrun by hood rat slut culture, and as a whole, we are an undesirable group of women. I know what you, someone's gonna say, you're tearing black women down, now what's your solutions? The solution is be quiet, close your mouth. Stop arguing, stop fighting, let go of your anger and be quiet. If you spent less time talking and actually listening to what the men are saying, you'd peep game. Now, to be fair, both men and women act out, but because the laws in this land has changed to where if a man gets married to a woman and she decides to divorce him, he has to pay her to leave. Let me explain what I mean. When women marry men who have assets themselves, they tell the men that they're getting with that the man would have to sign a prenup because she wants to protect her assets. But when the shoe's on the other foot and he has the assets and tells her he wants her to sign a prenup, she responds by saying, you tell me to do this because you don't trust or love me. Now, how is that right? I want a two separate household marriage. I don't even want to be in the same household. What is the problem with that? But who said that's not a marriage? Who made that? Why you cannot be in two separate places? You want me to marry you and go live in another house. <laughs> now, before I end this video, let me tell women that's listening a few facts. In most marriages, the person who asked for the divorce first at a 65% rate are women. Most men love women unconditionally and women always love men with conditions. If you feel that your man is acting out, you can stop complaining and just leave. A man will act right and adjust what he does in the relationship to satisfy her if he feels he's getting respect from her. When a man is committed to you and you tell him it is us against the world and then you up and leave, it tells him you never loved him in the first place nor did you value the relationship that you two shared. When a woman is quick to share her problems in her relationship with her friends and family than her man, it is a clear sign to him that she doesn't respect him enough to try to fix or work out what the problems are. You see, most women need trauma in the relationship like they need air to breathe. When a man realizes that the love that you give him is based on conditions and the love and affections that he gives to you, he's going to check out mentally out of the relationship. If you want your man to act right, you gotta stop treating him like he's a wind-up toy. You can take off the shelf when he's needed and put back when he's not. No man wants to be played like a deck of cards just to be with a woman. So for the women that's listening, stop thinking that he's Steve Harvey and you're Marjorie Harvey because men are starting to realize that they can lose it all when they say the words, I do. So for those women that are with these men right now that are acting out, here's what he's telling you. He'd rather date you than commit to you. So there you have it. The reasons why most men don't act right. 
Now, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so that you can help support the channel. And if you have a difference of opinion, be sure to put it in the comment section down below. I'm Andre Pearson. I will see you guys next week. Is there anything I could have done to save our relationship? Keisha, I think you're a great person. You know, I think you're a good person. And I appreciate the fact that you realized how closed off you were. You know, but to answer your question, I think you could have saved the relationship by being more appreciative. You know, putting more effort, you know, the same way I did. You know, and I kept stepping towards you, but you kept stepping back. You know, and marriage was out the question because don't nobody want to marry anyone who not showing the same appreciation as them or who not giving their effort like them. So that just pushed me back. I want to get you to see that you got to appreciate the people that's in your life. You know, the people that come in your life, you don't know how long they're going to be there. You got to appreciate them while they're there because when they're gone and you don't appreciate them, they got every right to walk away from them.